The design method known as contouring is a super simple way to take heat transfer vinyl projects to the next level. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a contour effect using a trapping method to be able to give a layered look on products that can't be layered. In this video, we're going to be featuring CAD Cut Soft Foam and CAD Cut Ultra Weed and how to create artwork specifically for that trapping method to create that contour effect. Let's head to CADWorksLive.com. For those of you new to CADWorks Live, it is a free online artwork software that is completely internet-based, so you can use it on any computer or laptop. And it has a ton of templates and clip art in here that you can pretty much plug and play, and it has a lot of different effects. So for example, the contour that you're seeing around MHS is actually an effect that has been added to the text so that we don't have to create a contour from scratch. So once I double click this, you will see that this is a contour effect over here next to our text, right? So if I select this, it is indicating what that color is. And I have the ability to change that offset. So if I wanted to increase this to 0.10, I have the ability to do that or I can drop it back down to a thinner contour, right? Or I have the power to go up and down. All right, so that you can see exactly how this process works, I'm going to select remove effect, and we're gonna go back to that basic text here. And just to be able to add the contour, all you have to do is double click, select add effect, and it's gonna give you a variety of effects that you can utilize. So there are some really popular ones in here like drop shadows, and you will notice the variety of contour effects that are in here. Today, we are just gonna be working with small contour. So I'm gonna double click that, and it's going to add that contour for me. So I prefer for my offset to be at 0.06. And I'm going to change my color. And as long as what I am seeing in the preview is what I want it to look like when it's complete, I'm going to select OK. And it's going to update that in the um, main view. All right. I have the power to go in and change this out if I wanted to do it for something else. And of course, I can change these colors in and out as well. Now, as I mentioned in the intro of this video, we are going to be pairing CAD Cut Ultra Weed with CAD Cut Soft Foam. CAD Cut Soft Foam is going to be the green portion of this piece of artwork. As we know, CAD Cut Soft Foam cannot be layered. So what we need to do is create a void area where that contour is so that when we go to lay in the ultra weed, that ad adhesive is touching the t-shirt as opposed to being layered on top of the soft foam. So we are going to punch this through. But first, what I need to do is break apart by colors because right now these are grouped together and are reading as one item. So I need to ungroup the silver and the green and to do that, I'm going to go to shaping and break apart by colors, okay? All right, so now we can see that these are separated. I'm gonna put that back to center middle there. And I'm gonna select both of those colors. And we're gonna punch the gray through the green, all right? Our top layer is gonna be punched through our contour layer, which is that background layer. All right, so we're going to go to shaping. And we're going to go to back minus front. All right, so that's going to punch that through. All right, so now whenever I move this, you'll see that it is completely punched through. So where the green was once solid, now it is a outline. Okay, so I'm going to hit undo so that that is center middle again. And right now the green is reading as my front layer. So I'm going to send that to the back so that I can easily select my gray. 
All right, so I'm going to double click this. And what we're about to do here is that trapping method that I mentioned earlier. And what this allows us to do, it, it really just helps if you do this process whenever you're working with a contour that is not being layered, it allows you to have a little bit of an overlap so that when you go to align the heat transfer vinyl, it's not going to show any gaps and that alignment is going to look as though those products are being layered, okay? So I am going to double click my MHS and I'm going to do that same effect. I'm gonna select add small contour and I'm gonna dial back that offset and I'm gonna make it super thin. So I'm gonna to go to 0 0.05, right? I don't want the contour to be so um, dense or thick that it starts to make the other contour look super thin, okay? So I'm going to dial that back, make that pretty thin, right? And I'm gonna show you the wire frame, which shows you the cut lines. So you can see that what you can actually see where these are overlapping each other, right? So it's okay that the heat transfer vinyl overlaps it a bit, um, so that whenever you're at the heat press, all your alignment is accurate. So let's pop back out of wireframe. I have one more step and what I need to do is weld the, the second contour, the one that I just added for that trapping method, okay? And I'm just gonna do that by going to shaping and selecting weld. And now it's reading as one piece as opposed to two different cut lines, okay? So now the original MHS done in gray has that added contour. So we're just adding that thickness so that these are actually overlapping each other just a little bit so that it's an easy application at the heat press, no gapping or anything like that, All right? So we're making it look as though it is layered, although it's not. Um, so this is just one of many ways that you can create that contour effect. Now to avoid having to do this extra step with contouring, all you have to do is just select products that can be layered on top of each other. Those do exist, right? So now that my artwork is complete, let's head to the heat press and show you exactly how this can be heat applied. All right, so now I'm gonna show you exactly how this contour trapping method works whenever you're doing mixed media designs at the heat press. We're gonna be using the A to Z heat press. And I'm going to take my T-shirt, open it up and thread it onto the platen just so that I'm working with the top layer of my T-shirt. Do your standard preheat that lets us gauge our pressure so that we're applying everything accurately. All right, so I'm always going to start with the largest part of my design. So as we can see, we have the ultra weed as the top layer. That's going to be the, stop, the smallest part of my design. And the largest part of my design is gonna be the soft foam, which is the product that cannot be layered, which is exactly why we are doing that trapping contour method. All right, so we're going to apply this first. Soft foam is a cool peel, so I'm going to wait for that to cool down briefly before I go ahead and remove its carrier. And I'm making sure as I'm peeling this away because the product is still warm that I'm going slowly and not just ripping that carrier off so that we are not stretching and distorting the soft foam. Because when we go to lay in the ultra weed, we don't want any alignment issue. All right, so the soft foam is applied. Now I can take my ultra weed 
And since we did that trapping method, we're able to line this in without worrying about any gapping or having a hard time with alignment. And we definitely wanna make sure we're covering with a cover sheet for this so that we are covering up the exposed soft foam. That's just going to protect our upper heating element. We're just gonna lock that down and let it apply for the full application. For application on instructions for both of these products, you can visit the links in the description. And Ultraweed is a hot peel, so we can go ahead and remove that carrier. Pretty simple, right? So now that you've seen the process and how to create the artwork and exactly how that heat application looks, you can get started with a variety of different heat transfer vinyl types from stalls.com. Visit the link in the description.